Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's just going to be a quick introduction on another uh, new tool that will be coming to you guys. Uh, for now, the tool is called D2R Backup Buddy, and what it'll do is kind of what it sounds like. It's going to help you make character and shared stash backups automatically, um, so you don't ha kind of have to deal with that. Um, so I'll just go ahead and open that up and uh, get explaining how that works. So it's going to be a real simple program. First thing you're going to do is just select your install location um, for Diablo 2 Resurrected, you know, where wherever d2r.exe exists, um, and then you're going to do the same thing for your save folder. Uh, for most people, the save folder is going to be, uh, you know, your hard drive, users, username, save games, Diablo 2 Resurrected. If you select the wrong one, it'll try to tell you, um, you know, that you made a mistake, but all we need to do is click in that box, select your, you know, save game folder, your install folder, whatever, and it's going to fill in that uh, information for you. Once you've done that, you should see all the mods in the dropdown that you currently have installed. So I have remodded selected, um, and we can control how often um, it backs up my most recently played character um, by just controlling these here. So for argument's sake, I'm going to say that I want it backed up every five seconds, just so you can see it here. Um, and you should see when it backs up, it's going to pop it up in the log here. Uh, so it tells you the time, which character it backed up, uh, you know, how much size that character is taking up, including the max size, and then what mod it was backed up for. Um, so I'm going to switch it to BT Diablo here. We'll see what my most recently played character there is. So there we go. Now it's backing up my BT Diablo characters. So I'm going to go ahead and take that back off, uh, you know, the obscene backup frequency. But I just wanted to show you uh, that's how you can control that. Um, if you did have a power outage or something bad happened and you actually need to retrieve one of these backups, it's pretty simple. We can just go to this restore character option here. Um, whatever mod you have selected, it's going to show you your available characters or your shared stash in this case. Um, again, if I were to select a different mod, uh, my available characters are going to be much different. So for argument's sake, I'm going to say that I wanted to restore my character named Arise. I'm going to go ahead and click it. Uh, I'm going to select whichever backup I want, so it's going to show me all the timestamps and stuff here. Um, so I'm just going to select this one, and then once I do, it's going to let me know that it was all a success, success sorry, um, and it'll pop that in the log as well. Um, so just a couple quality of life options. Uh, obviously, actually, just real quick, um, you can click the status button to disable or enable auto backups. That just kind of, you know, shows your status of it. Um, and then on to the quick quality of life options here. Um, um, so if you want this, you know, program open and doing backups, but you don't necessarily want to see it or even have it down here on your taskbar, you can select the minimize to system tray option. When you do that and you minimize the program, it will not put it at the bottom. You'll get a quick notification that, hey, it's still open. You can close that or let it disappear and you should be able to find it in your tray icons. Um, so just as you see, you can hover over it, see the program name and all that. You can either double click it to open it back up or right click it, select exit, open, you know, whatever you want to do there. So I'm going to go ahead and open it back up and then I'll show you the last kind of quality of life option here. Um, so what this does, uh, the bind to D2R option um, is when it makes a backup, it's going to check to see if the game is open. Um, and if the game is uh, not open, it's going to close the program. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it, uh, open the program, uh, put it back on that super high uh, backup speed real quick just to show you what I mean. So let's back it up every five seconds again. Let's go ahead and enable the option. And we should see that the backups, you know, keep going on, no problem. There's one. And there's our second one. But what's going to happen now is when I close the game, it's going to detect that it's closed, and my next backup should close the program. There we go. So after it backed up, it went ahead and closed itself. We can open it back up, obviously. Um, and that is just to help you if you... Uh, you know, leave it open one night, you don't want it backing up every, you know, 60 seconds, you know, for 10 hours while you sleep, um, you can enable that option just to make sure it's closed when you're not playing the game um, and just to help tidy things up. But anyways, that's been an introduction and breakdown of the current status of the Backup Buddy program. As usual, you can find this on our website, uh, in our modding tools section, on our Discord, um, or just by giving me a quick holler on YouTube in the video description, Patreon, etc. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Have a great day. Bye.